Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be discussing whether majoring in music composition is right for you. And for me, I have to narrow down what I mean by music composition. I'm going to school for studying traditional music composition, you know, writing for like classical ensembles uh, and that kind of style for uh, educational music. I'm not really writing for contemporary classical musicians. I'm not writing electronic music. So this is very specific to that traditional track. And you might feel a lot of pressure as an aspiring composer to go ahead and pursue music composition uh, in college, but really in today's day, it's not that necessary. But I still wanna go over some pros and cons about whether that's right for you, and we'll see whether uh, that's something that's worth pursuing. And I think there's a lot of pressure from society or even from your parents or um, mentors saying that you have to go to music school if you want to do something like this because it's really hard to kind of forge your own path without that guided assistance. Um, but really in today's day, uh, there are so many free resources out there that can help guide you to a path that most people in college can also um, achieve. So it's not that unrealistic with today's resources. So I want to go over some of the pros of deciding to major in music composition. And the first thing is a clear set path that's established for you, part of the music school curriculum. And I'm not saying that there's no set path if you're not gonna be going to school, but uh, it's kind of built into our everyday routines and our everyday curriculum. Going to music school, you take your theory classes, music history, your training, and all those things are pretty uh, established and um, pre-planned out by your professors, so it's as smooth as possible and you're not leaving any major gaps in your basic musical knowledge. And it's not like you learn super niche things in every single class. You just kind of learn a broad, basic understanding of what you should know as a music professional. Um, but the way it's just organized is super um, consistent and very clear uh, that I don't really have to worry about that. I kind of just have to show up and be diligent and take notes and things like that. Uh, and I don't have to worry about finding those resources on my own. The second thing is personalized attention uh, towards the goals that you want to achieve. So studying in music school means that you have to take composition lessons by default. So my weekly lessons allow me to um, kind of see what I want to achieve as a composer um, on a very granular level. Um, and then I can also kind of see it from a bigger picture about how much I've improved over time. That personalized attention is something that is kind of a default. When you go to music school, you kind of have those resources right from the get-go, and that is super helpful. And it really goes without saying that you kind of get what you put into it. So depending on your work ethic uh, and your diligence, uh, that really plays a big factor in whether you're going to get a lot out of music school. If you're going to kind of go here and kind of just do the bare minimum, then that's not going to lead to any fruitful results. Uh, so you have to put that work in or none of this is worth it. Another thing that I think music school is great for is uh, guaranteed performances or just opportunities to have your pieces performed by live musicians. Uh, if there's one thing that I stress about on this channel, a lot about is getting those live performances that are used to apply to competitions, apply for grants, all these wonderful things. And if you don't have a real recording of your music, then you kind of um, are kind of lower on the totem pole because uh, the people that do have those live recordings stand out a lot more. And having live recordings is kind of a twofold thing. Uh, you get that um, growth as a composer to be able to hear and rehearse with live performers and see what doesn't work in your piece. Um, and then also on the other hand, uh, you can use those recordings to develop yourself in a professional sense uh, and then use them to apply to other, re uh, other opportunities down the road. And one of the hardest things to get is a large ensemble readings or uh, performances to have your orchestral or band music read by real musicians. And that's really hard to do outside of a school setting. Um, here, there's ample opportunities to have them read during rehearsals uh, by student organizations or ensembles. That is really hard to find outside of the school setting. You'll have to either like apply to a contest to have those read, um, or you'll have to fork out a lot of money to get a good recording session. So those resources are a lot more accessible while you're in music school. Another small thing is the perks you get as a college student. These include discounts on music notation software or Adobe and things like that. 
um, as well as other um, eligibility benefits that you get if you apply to contests or workshops. Uh, and some of them require you to be a college student. Um, so those benefits are very much welcome. And in another sense, it's easier to gain access to a larger network of uh, performers, directors, composers, and even your fellow colleagues. Uh, that all is super important in this career field is to have that network of people um, that you can rely on. Uh, and that network can be found without a degree, but obviously you're surrounded by people who are like-minded and kind of in that career that you want to be in in the long run. Uh, so it's a lot easier to build that network up while you're here. So moving on to some of the downsides or the cons of majoring in music composition. Uh, the first one we have is the big elephant in the room, which is the cost. Uh, and college in general is just notoriously uh, expensive. And you'll often have to take out student loans to help uh, cover that cost of attendance, which is something that I have to do, and it's uh, horrible. It really is terrible. But if you are deciding to go into college, you have to make sure that you're applying to as many scholarships, uh, need-based scholarships, institution-based ones. There's also the FAFSA, which you can apply for every year to get some money taken off, um, as well as other uh, scholarships and uh, things to help supplement the cost of attendance. Uh, which is going to be extre extremely high. Another downside is that you have to obey a schedule that's pretty much set out for you. You don't really have much freedom in choosing um, your time uh, in a way that will suit you best. Of course, you have to deal with a schedule of classes that you can choose to a certain degree, um, but you are going to be pretty much busy with a set of curriculum that the school uh, sets out for you, and you can't really uh, forge your own path uh, to achieve the goals maybe the most efficient way. A big thing that is included in this is taking gen ed classes and other courses that aren't directly applicable to your major. They aren't really um, beneficial in the long run really when you're deciding to go into music composition as a career. Um, so you have to deal with those and those often cost hundreds or thousands of dollars by themselves. And a big misconception about getting a music degree or any degree in general is the illusion of job security. For a career such as music composition, you're not really looking to get a job out of college. It's more of a career where you have to forge your own path as an entrepreneur and really work for yourself. And you'll have to be comfortable with knowing that you're not going to be having this stable nine to five job. Also, you'll have to find a way that you can make a living uh, as a mere musician. And this is a great segue to why college may not be the best choice for you. Like I mentioned before, um, this is a generation that has ample resources online that are free uh, to learn these skills uh, that are were previously taught only in college or other um, you know institutions. There's plenty of YouTube channels, um, uh, books and things like that that are a fraction of the price of going to college uh, that can teach you all the skills you learn here and much more. And this just means that self-studying music composition is much more possible today than any other time before. You can still attend music seminars, workshops, apply for competitions, grants, and things like this even without being a full-time college student. And often these opportunities provide the same amount of growth and development instead of forking over the cost and commitment of being a full-time student. And whether or not you decide to pursue music composition in college, I highly recommend you to have a mentor or a teacher to help guide you through the whole process. A composition teacher is probably the number one resource I can recommend to anyone to help you achieve your compositional and professional goals. Um, and to really lay out a tailored plan to help you achieve those goals. So I'm super excited to announce that I'm opening up enrollment for my private composition studio. In my studio, you can receive that professional tailored advice that you need for your music. We're also going to develop a set and clear path to help you achieve your compositional goals. And you can set your own schedule at your own convenience with weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly lessons and whatever works for you is totally fine. And you don't need to afford a college level tuition to get that personalized feedback that you need in order to succeed as a composer. If you are interested in uh, taking your music to the next level and really stand out in a field that's really saturated and competitive, then I highly recommend signing up for a slot down below at my website and then we can get started from there. In addition, I recommend weighing your own pros and cons list about whether you want to go to school or not for music. 
I mean, it's a super personalized decision that really depends on a lot of factors. If you have the will and determination to really forge your own path, then college isn't necessarily for you. And I think it's totally possible and feasible to create a career without a degree. But if you do have the economic means and really desire a clear and set path for your professional goals, then college might be for you. And it was for me. If I were to go back in time and to not go decide to go to college, I don't know if I'd be able to be in the spot I am with all the resources that were made available to me. But it really is a personalized decision. Now, if you're currently a music composition major or you're planning to apply to music school for that sort of degree, then I highly recommend my video on six essential tips and tools for music composition majors. And these are great resources to help you get a leg up on your studies. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and keep writing.